You know, one of the easiest things to overlook when you own a website is how does it look on a mobile device and what adjustments and changes can you make so that you can improve the way your website looks on mobile devices. And so in this video, we're going to go over some of these settings that Astra gives you, the Astra theme for mobile devices. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button if you don't want to miss a thing click on the bell if you don't have Astra or you're not familiar with the Astra theme I have a lot of tutorials here on the channel about the Astra theme here is their website right here and you could get there by going to wpcrafter.com slash Astra now what has sparked me wanting to make this video is a new feature that is coming to Astra you can actually access it right now if you already own the Astra theme it's it's, the, it's in beta right now. Uh, so if you logged into the user portal there where the downloads are, there is a beta of the theme and a beta of the pro add-on extension for Astra. Now this video, we're going to go over the pro options with the pro extension. So essentially this is what they added right here. Oh, and by the way, they have a slight 15% off sale going right now for their birthday. Uh, they are now one year old. The theme is so here's what is in beta. And I would imagine it'll be out for everybody very soon. Just keep in mind if you want to use it, I'm using it on my website right now. Just keep in mind if there is a, a bug or two uh, you'll just have to deal with that I noticed when I put the beta in I had to reassign one of my menus uh, not a big deal okay so what you get now is more control over the mobile header of your website you're gonna be able to have more control there's also some menu options you can have a flyout menu I'm gonna show you that a full screen menu I'm gonna show you that I'm using the full screen menu I like it a lot I'll show you some of the styling options in the header as well and you can also set the custom header breakpoint this is a big one for developers that want more control over when the header changes to that mobile website header uh, you're gonna now have control over that so this is great here's a couple um, animated gifs of things that you can do so let's go ahead and jump on into it now when you add the or as soon as the update comes out you're gonna have to go or if you want to use the beta that's fine you're gonna have to go in your website and enable this new options so you're gonna go to appearance Astra options I've already enabled it it's gonna be right here mobile header this will unlock and add these new options to the WordPress customizer so that you can go in there and start tweaking these settings okay so I already have my website side open here this is just on a local version on my local computer I don't know how fast or slow it's gonna be uh, so I've got it all loaded up here I'm in the customizer so when you're in the customizer if you want to sh have access to the settings and see how it looks like on a mobile device this is one thing I love about the customizer down here you can click on the little icon that represents a mobile phone and then there you have it you can see exactly how your website is going to look like on a mobile phone and my experience is it's pretty accurate so you can see my mobile header right now it's nothing fabulous or anything nothing remarkable but it works fine you click on it right here and I have my menus drop down like that and it's fine so let's look at some of the options that we have for a mobile device so under site identity this is where you normally pop in your logo and your retina version of your logo but you're gonna see in some of the controls in the customizer like the logo with you're gonna see a little phone icon and when you see that whatever you put in there is just gonna to apply to uh, mobile devices so these are gonna be all your settings specific to mobile devices and this is actually one of my favorite settings right here I can control essentially this with this slider here the size of my logo but what's nice is you can control it on a mobile device so I can go like this and it would start reducing the size of my logo 
actually scratch that quick change of plans I am doing this like I already said on my local computer I'm gonna go switch to my actual live website which is actually kind of crazy to do because as I am adjusting this it's not refreshing here and I'm pretty sure that has to do with my local environment I do so much testing on it that it's not working right so I've already opened it up here in a new tab and uh, we're gonna skip ahead and you can actually see how my edited mobile header looks right here uh, but let's see if we make some tweaks to it. So you can see I've already tweaked it some, but that's all right. So let's just jump back into site identity because there are some changes I'd like to make. So now when I adjust the logo with, yes, yeah, see, there we go. We're getting that dynamic feedback. There's something wrong with my development environment. But what's nice about this is you can, you can set the the width of your logo specific to a mobile device so you might want it a little smaller and always pay attention to the amount of space anything you're doing on the mobile version of your website and I think by default if I go like this you'll see how it is by default it's a little big for my tastes so I think I prefer it to be a bit on the smaller side so I'm gonna dial this back down to maybe like 180 or uh, that's fine right there 190 so it's a little bit smaller I prefer that and uh, let's go back so that is the first thing that you can do with your header right there now I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to go to where it says header. Now if you've activated that mobile header option, you're going to have this right here where it says mobile header. This is specific to the mobile header right there. First I'm going to click on primary header because this is where we're going to get some of that spacing. So here are three spacing options, but it's really the header space. So this is the spacing above to the left, to the bottom, and to the right of this icon here. That's the spacing for that. So we have options for those different parts of it or I can lock them all by clicking right here. So if I wanted to reduce it to zero, this is what it would look like. Oops, I made it 10. That doesn't look too good. If I made it zero, you can see now my logo is all the way to the left, all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, just like that. It's a little too much like that. So I would probably maybe see what I like if I like five like this or let's see one two actually here I can just go up like this just like this there we go now as you can see right here I have it set to EM I don't know why it's set to EM I'm gonna click on PX which is pixels I'm more comfortable with that so now I can start playing around with it to see just the spacing that I want so what I've just accomplished is I've made my the header on my website just take up less space less of the height and it's up to you how you want it obviously if you wanted to unlock these and maybe just add a little bit more to the left or to the right to kind of tighten it in you you could certainly do that so now you can control the spacing of everything up there now let's take a look at those specific mobile header options and these are the new options that are available to you so the first one is header breakpoint this is going to make a lot of developers very happy next you can have a logo specific to your mobile device now you might ask why would you want to do that well here's a perfect example maybe on a mobile device you want the back background color of your header to be a different color so the normal logo that you use might not look good when it's laid over a different color for me I'm gonna leave it white although I considered making it a darker color and having a white version of my logo so that is why you have this option here to have a specific header um, a specific logo just for your uh, when uh, the mobile version of this website okay next we have the menu style so I've already set mine to full screen by def this is the default one right here so let's uh, see what that looks like that's just where the it looks like this your menu items just appear next would be the flyout and when you have the flyout you have the option of having it fly out from the right or the option of having it fly out from the left so right now it's the right so when I click here you see the menu just slid out from the right and then there's this X to remove it and I can choose left or right whatever makes sense to me the one that I like for my website is full screen so when I have it set to this what happens is the menu just takes over the whole screen and it just appears so this is what I have have now and it just appears now my menu I have a lot of menu items here so people can scroll independently 
and then they can get out of that. So that is the new menu style options. Okay, so we have some button toggle styles, and so this is the one that I did have when you saw on over here when I didn't like, uh, it wasn't responding right because the website screwed up. This is the style right here, uh, and then on this website here, you can see I had switched it to outline. I like the outline a little better, just like that. And here you can actually choose the color for that outline. So I have it matching the green uh, that I have there. And what here, this is what the border radius looks like by default. I think it's set to like two or something like that. So this is why the button normally looks like that. I just thought it would be nicer uh, to make it round. And so I set this to 30 and it made it perfectly round and I just like the way that that looks better. Now if I wanted to I could add a label to this it's not going to look good because I have it set to round but you can do that. So I've gone ahead right now and entered in menu you see it pushed it down a line. Uh, so the border radius I don't think it looks good when you have letters in there like that but it's certainly something you can have if you want I just prefer that I think it's more a universal symbol of a mobile menu and then right here you can choose how you want this do you want it right here in line that means on the same line as your logo or we can go here and we can stack it and this is just going to now appear under the logo and the logo is going to end up being centered just like this this is more appropriate for putting in menu maybe not having it round the way that I have it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back to inline. This is how I like it. So these are some really nice new controls that are coming to the Astro theme to give you more control. Now you also have options with with fonts. So for your entire website, when you go to the fonts part here of the settings, let me go to it right here. It's under topography. So you have control over the size of your fonts on mobile devices. I think this is the big thing that people overlook. You know, they have their homepage and they have the huge bold lettering, but then when it goes into mobile, it's still showing that big, huge, bold lettering and it doesn't look good. So on the Astro theme, for every font control, there's a font size option. You can see, because it has the mobile device icon there, this will only apply to the mobile version of your website. So I'd encourage you, if you're looking at it and, and it says, eh, it looks a little too big for me, you can go in there and set those specifically for a mobile device. And this would be your body font. This would be your headline fonts. So right here is my headline right there. I might wanna make it smaller. So in that case, I would go to content. And I think for me, that is a heading two. So I might wanna see what that looks like if I make it uh, 20. Uh, go like that. That might not be it. It might be header three. I have to go and look. But you get the idea. You have this ability to come in here and set the headings up and the right sizes of these that you would want. And la lastly, we have some color options right here under color and background. And then I'm gonna go to header. And then we have these new mobile header options right here. And so I can set the background color that I want just for a mobile device or a background image. And here are various other options. You have full control over the, the text, the links. And this also carries over into the actual menu here. So you can have full control over over all of that and the colors that you want. So when you do go full screen, you can have this color scheme match what you are going after. So right now mine is set to white. If I wanted it to be dark, I would go like that. Uh, but then what I'd also want to do is set a different logo that would match with the dark background there. So let me go ahead and set that back to white. And this is the new options that you have available coming soon to the Astra theme. And I would just encourage you to take maybe 30 minutes and see what your website looks like on your mobile device and identify those areas where you can make simple improvements. And this is a real quick win type of thing. It's real easy to jump into the customizer Make these tweaks so that you are giving your website visitors, those visiting off of mobile devices, a much better experience. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you
you don't have Astra, you're interested in it, it's wpcrafter.com slash Astra. I also have a link in the video description box down below. That's a referral link. When you click on it, it's going to take you to my website and I tell you about some bonus training that I have if you wanted to purchase the Astra theme. I have all that information right there. And so my last little bit of insider information, I do know that after this update, Astra will be working on adding new header styles. Uh, I'm interested in that because I'm not going to use a page builder to build my header. So I would prefer to get that out of a theme. And I'm excited to see what new header styles that they have coming. Hey, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.